How to tickle feet. You can tickle feet by lighting touching a person's feet with a feather, soft bristled brush, or even your fingers. There are a few techniques for getting the best results when it comes to tickling feet. Just make sure you're not tickling someone too much against their will, or there may be a lot of kicking involved. Approaching your victim. Choose your tickling tool. The fingers are very effective for tickling and have been used for this process for centuries. However, if you want to mix things up, a feather or a soft bristle brush can also help you use some tickling tactics. It's up to you. wh.performance.mark Step 1 underscore rendered. Try the sneak tickle attack when your victim is lying down. The perfect time to tickle a person's feet is when the person is lying down, oblivious, and the feet are already exposed. If the person is on the couch, tanning on a fold-out chair, lying on a picnic blanket, or just hanging out in bed, try to come up to the person and be perfectly natural as you move closer to their feet. Alternately, you can just start tickling when the person isn't looking. This will definitely surprise the person and will make them shriek with delight. Do the sleeping tickle prank. If you really have no mercy and are at a sleepover or the person is taking a nap, wait until the person has drifted off to start lightly tickling the person's feet with your fingers or feather. Keep doing this until the person wakes up, still confused about what's going on, and let the laughter ensue. Warning, the person is likely to be pretty annoyed, so make sure you didn't wake them out of a deep sleep. Put the feet in a footlock. Instead of the headlock, get down by the person's feet and wrap your arms around them until the victim cannot get loose. You'll need one hand to hold down the feet and the other to do the tickling. You won't have very much time to get in this position, so quickly sit near the person's knees or calves to start getting control of them. You'll have to face away from the person, towards their feet. Face your victim. Alternatively, you can sit in the same position, near the person's calves or knees, face the victim, and wrap one arm under both feet, while reaching behind you to tickle the person's feet. This will be a bit unmanageable, but the plus side will be that you'll get to see your victim squirm and shriek. Tickle your victim while they are lying on their stomach. If your victim happens to be on their stomach because they are reading, resting, or tanning, then this is your perfect opportunity to tickle their feet. All you have to do is kneel over their legs, placing your knees and calves over the person's knees and calves, pinning their feet to the ground as you reach over and start tickling those feet. Consider crossing your victim's ankles. Since the arches of the feet can be the most ticklish spots, if you can get in the right position, you can try to cross your victim's legs or feet so you have more access to those arches. This can only be done if you have a lot of control over your victim, but it can really help the tickling process. Know when to stop. Though all is fair in love and tickling, some people really can't stand it. If your victim is laughing, that may not be because they are having a great time, but because they are actually just having a physical reaction to the tickling. If the person is yelling, telling you repeatedly to stop, hitting you, or crying out in what sounds like real pain, then you may want to stop before you hurt any feelings, or get hurt in return. 